the ground, allowing Bob Grieve on. Sullivan has played wonderfully for Collingwood again today. That mark was taken by Reeves against Eastmuir. And the man who has replaced Leryl Sharp as Collingwood's back pocket is playing very well. He kicks towards Fellows, and Height must win out. He was against Stevenson, and the six feet six boy for Collingwood marks it well and kicks to the half forward line, falling just short. Reeves handballs nicely to Rose and is smartly filled as he does handball it by three North Melbourne forwards and Reeves gets his free kick. And his long kick is over the half forward line. Sullivan misses the mark. Webb is scouting the pack that Reeves scoops it up and kicks to the half forward line for the Magpies. And it's a battle between Reeves and Ridley. Ridley took a shocking knock earlier from Sarong. Those who would expect a lot in five games. Reeves, young Reeves, marking at the back of the pack. No team has been able to beat another team three times in the one season this year. And it seems that that record is being kept alive by Collingwood turning the tables on Melbourne today. The game's not over, but uh, it's very close to being over for the Demons, who, after being the favourites right throughout the season, are in dire danger of being well and truly toppled by Collingwood. 12-10 to 9-9 in the grand final. We've had uh, 23 minutes of play now, 23 minutes of play, and it's a matter of time, it seems. Reeves clears towards Sullivan. Sullivan gets the mark just inside the boundary. Another good player for Collingwood today. When a side wins a premiership, all its stars play well. You don't win them unless you do play well. Flank picks up neatly, and he's kicked up into the centre wing position, where it's... Oh, can't pick that dark one there. It's O'Dwyer, I think it is. No, Reeves, it was a little back pocket player. He's black. Gablitz handballed over to... Campbell who kicked it, we didn't handball to Campbell, but it was Campbell that got the kick for Fitzroy, kicked off the ground, but now Reeves has sent play back. Ten and a half forward position where it's spilt Vernon, who handballs out desperately in the direction of, <coughs> it was Reeves who cut in nicely for Collingwood and transferred play back down. He handballs, oh, it's back now to Lynch, so over towards Campbell, at least uh, Knight, but Reeves once again, though he's defending well for Collingwood, has been playing well for them all day. He's a little hard to pick too, Reeves. He's pretty black. Or his nicks are black. But he's been right in the thick of it. There's a throw in for Elisa Finn. Where it's Gavilich, he'll pick up his handball again. But Harvey gets a big strong punch. This time it's Rose. But he's tackled and handballs over to Reeves as Reeves goes down the ground. And it's a nice kick right over the centre line. It's going to be really interesting. There's two points lead by Fitzroy and eight minutes left to play. As it is Reeves once again, he's kicked down to Turner in the centre for, for Collingwood, playing well for Collingwood here. He moving over onto his left foot. You watch him now swing over left footer's natural tendency down towards Wiedemann at centre half forward. And he took a nice one there. Wiedemann took a nice one in front of Barclay. Actually, one of the few kicks that Wiedemann has had today. But he's a type of player that could lift Collingwood in these last few minutes. His kick in turn has gone right down the full forward position where Gablitz just failed to hold it but it's great picked up neatly right into the square where it's practically marked by Beers but it's rushed through for one point oh that was to Aston Aston's kick up into the square it's Reeves on his own he picks up nicely ever reliable he's going straight down the ground a nice kick it'll be marked by Fellows in the centre half back position for Collingwood he just well, played steadily all day Bill oh he has Jeff he's turned them back time and time again Fellows kick straight down the ground into that just clear of the centre position where 36 knocks, 22 is Keneally. Keneally ruck roving for Melbourne. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. Ron Reeves, one of Collingwood's best, and they've had many good players in this field today, takes the mark. Five goals still the difference. 23 minutes gone, and Fellows marks the kick. Fellows 
between centre half back and the centre of the ground. We'll kick this over centre half forward. He's got the wind behind him and it goes right over centre half forward. Waters comes out. And Terry Waters is proving a sensation for this club. Mixed up in a tremendous football controversy only a few weeks ago because Dandenong refused to clear him. He played a sensational first up game. He's got six goals so far. This could be a seven from 50 yards out and straight through. Magnificent goal to Terry Waters. It's Waters Day at Collingwood. Collingwood is very much on the defensive as the ball flies towards their goal mouth, but under pressure, Reeves clears. Reeves, who missed the final through injury, clears for the Magpies as they desperately hold the Demons out. 